Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I'm really excited to film for you guys because today we are going to be doing my second full phase of Tarte Cosmetics. So if you haven't seen the first one already, I will leave it up here in the eye for you guys to watch later on. I had so much fun creating that full face of Tarte Cosmetics and if you couldn't tell, I've got this entire bag completely full to the brim with unopened brand new Tarte Cosmetics that I haven't yet tried. And then I've also got this entire container which is also completely full to the brim with products that I haven't yet tried as well. So if you're interested in seeing this video, then just continue watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my cheeks today, so I'm going to go right ahead and start contouring. This is the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. I'm pretty sure this is volume one, because I think they've created a newer one that has blushes in it, but this one just has contour and eyeshadow, so I'm going to go right ahead and start with this. Okay, so here is what the palette looks like. As you can see, the outside of the packaging matches the box. And then on the inside of the palette, it comes with three contours and a bunch of neutral toned shadows. These look really, really, really beautiful. I love those tones. As you can see, there's three different tones in the contour as well. There's a warmer one, a cooler one in the center, and a deeper one on the right. I'm excited to try out the contours, and if I can't find the shadows that I need in the palette that I'm planning on using today, I can always reach back for this one for the neutrals just to help carry the look. So I'm excited decided to try this one out. Okay, so to start contouring, I want to try out this brush here again. I've already used it in my last full face of Tarte Cosmetics. The one thing I can say about the Tarte brushes is they don't say anywhere on the packaging what the brush name is. So I've thankfully kept the box, so I've actually got the name right here. This is the Tarte Swirl Power Cheek Brush. As you can see, it is a massive kabuki style brush. It's similar to the NARS Eda, but it's a lot bigger and a little bit fluffier. So we're going to use her today. Okay, so I'm going to start by grabbing the palette and I want to try out the center shade here, which is called Desert. So I'm going to tap my brush into that shade. These are really, really powdery. As you can see, there's a lot of kick up. So I'm going to really tap off the brush and I'm going to start contouring my cheek. I'm also going to take a little bit along the forehead and along the jawline. And then to start bronzing up my skin, I'm going to go back into the palette and grab the first shade here called Terracotta on the same brush. And I'm going to go right ahead and start warming up my cheeks with that color. This shade here might actually be even more pigmented than the other one because as you can see, I took a tiny little bit and it's going such a long way. So be really careful with these powders. So next for highlighter, I want to use this one right here. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Exposed Highlight. This is what she looks like. She is such a beautiful gold. Ooh, I'm excited to try that one out. So I'm going to start highlighting my cheeks. I'm going to use the Real Techniques 402 setting brush, which looks like this. So I'm going to take it straight into the highlight. And I'm going to start applying it straight onto my cheekbone. I would say if anything on my skin tone, it's actually pulling a little bit icier than it did on my hand, but it's still really pretty. I would just say I'm going to have to really buff it out just because when I look forward, I can see a hint of a cast right here. So I'm going to apply it to my forehead and then I'm going to blend everything out. I might just take a little bit down my nose and then my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take the brush that I applied my bronzer with and just kind of slightly buff over the edges just to help kind of remove the cast. And then for blush, I want to go right ahead and try out this shade right here. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Peaceful. So here is how the shade Peaceful looks. It is such a beautiful kind of burnt, corally, reddy orange color. It's got a little bit of like a micro shimmer through it as well. And also that imprint on the Tarte blushes is just so, so pretty. So I'm going to go right ahead and apply it to the cheeks using the Real Techniques 206 contouring brush. So I'm going to tap that straight into the blush and apply that straight onto the back of my cheek. I'm really going to focus this color up by the temples and only bring the excess kind of down towards the apple. Honestly, this blush might be my favorite thing we've tried out so far. I mean, it is stunning. 
Okay, so I went right ahead and I zoomed you guys in so we can start on some eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow palettes, I actually want to try out this one right here. This is called the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. It's a bit of an older palette. I'm not sure if you can still buy it, but I actually looked at the inside of the palette and was really obsessed with these kind of pretty jewel tones. So here's what the outside of the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. I mean, just for that packaging alone, I knew I had to use it. So this is what the inside of the palette looks like. It is so pretty pretty. I love these kind of muted jewel tones. As you can see, there's kind of like a fiery torch red. There's a deep bronze, even this really pretty green, as well as all of these really beautiful muted jewel tone purples and blues. I cannot wait to see what we create. So let's get started. Okay, so starting off, I want to grab the green shade in here. This one here is called Marvel on the Real Techniques 305 brush. This was from the Brush Crush collection. So I'm going to tap straight into that shadow. And I'm actually going to start popping this on the inner half of my crease. So next, going back into the palette, I'm going to grab this shade here called Mystic with the Real Techniques 310 Essential Crease Brush, which is a very small, petite crease brush. And I'm going to start blending that into the center of my crease. The next shade I'm going to grab from the palette is this really beautiful blue tone here called Dream on the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And I'm going to start popping that on the outer corner of the crease. So next I'm grabbing this brush right here. This is the Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush. And I'm going to tap into this shadow up the top here called Myth. And I'm going to really lightly start buffing out those edges. So next I'm going to start cutting out my crease. I'm going to take the same concealer that's underneath my eyes. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade Fair. So I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. And then taking my Zoeva brush, this is the 233 Cream Shader Brush from the Opulence Collection. I'm going to start cutting out my crease. Okay, so I finished off the other eye and I tried my best to make them as even as possible. So to set down that color, I might go right ahead and use this big center shade right here. I actually don't know what the name of that shade is because it's not written anywhere, but I'm going to take the center shade on this brush here, which is another one of the Real Techniques base shadow brushes. And I'm going to go right ahead and pat that on that cut crease. This shade is so interesting because in the pan, it looks kind of like a white with a bit of a goldy silver reflect, but on the eye, it actually pulls very pink. So it looks like it's maybe got a bit of a pink duo or trio chrome in there. So interesting. So to give the eye a little bit of definition by that cut crease, I might go back into this palette right here, which we use for our contour. And I might go into this shadow right here called Stone. It's a really beautiful neutral brown on the Real Techniques 311 Fine Liner Brush, which is this tinsy, tiny little eyeliner brush. So I'm going to tap into the shade Stone. And I'm going to start tracing out my cut crease. So next I'm going to go right ahead and line my upper lash line. This is the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner in the shade Onyx. And then I'm taking this brush right here, which is the Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush, which looks like that. And I'm going to start buffing that out. And then I just wiped off the brush on a tissue and I'm going to tap into this shade here in the center called Smoke. And I'm going to very gently just smoke that out. So for the lower lash line, I want to keep it really simple. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm taking my Real Techniques Flat Definer Brush into the shade Journey. 
and I'm going to start really tightly pushing that between my lashes. Okay, so next for mascara, I've got these two right here. They're actually the exact same mascara, but one's in limited edition packaging. These are the Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascaras. They're both in the shade black. I feel like just because we did use the palette, which has the exact same packaging as this limited edition packaging, let's go right ahead and use this version of it. But once again, they're both the exact same mascara. So this is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, it is a bamboo bottle. It is so pretty. And the cap matches that limited edition packaging as well as that palette that we used earlier. So I'll show you the wand. So this is what the wand looks like. As you can see, it's a small sized brush. I think it's kind of natural hairs as well. It doesn't look like plastic bristles. It actually looks very similar to the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is the only mascara I've tried from Tarte. So I'm looking forward to trying this one out. So I'm gonna go right ahead and do a couple of coats of mascara. I would say in comparison to the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, this seems like a slightly drier formula, like it takes a little bit longer for me to build up the length and the volume, but so far I don't mind the brush. I'm also curious to know, what makes this mascara gifted and smart? Weird question, but it's an interesting name for a mascara. Gifted Amazonian Clay Smart Mascara. Curious. So next, moving on to lashes. I only own one set of lashes from Tarte Cosmetics and they come in this kit right here. This kit is called the Dash of Lash Eye Set. I've used the lashes once before in my full face of Tarte Cosmetics and they were really pretty, so I cannot wait to reuse them today. So I'm gonna use the lashes and the lash glue. I've also tried out the kit and the eyeliner before and it was really nice, but I haven't yet tried out the mascara, so eventually I'll get around to it. I actually found the name of the lashes, so I'll leave them on the screen right here in case you're curious to know which ones they are in particular, because it doesn't say it anywhere on the box. So I'm going to go right ahead and stick on these lashes. So here is what the eyes look like before. And then here are the eyes after with the lashes. So you can see these lashes are so pretty. So I highly recommend if you want to get your hands on them, definitely pick them up if you can, if they're available, because they are so fluttery and just gorgeous. I'm obsessed. So next for brows, I want to try out this product right here. This is the Tarte Arch Architect Brow Pencil and Gel. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is so pretty. I love the gold. I feel like it's super identifiable. Even if you had a hundred brow pencils in your collection, you could automatically just pick this one up and be like, I know exactly what that is. So on one side, it's got a pencil. It's kind of like a teardrop shape. I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it's kind of like a teardrop versus more of a triangle. It's really cute. And then on the other side, you've got a clear brow gel which looks like this so I'm excited to try her out let's go right ahead and start filling in our brows so I'm actually going to do it a little bit differently I'm going to start off with a clear brow gel and see if I can kind of fluff my brows up okay so the brow gel isn't that strong of a hold so I'm going to just switch ideas and move on to the pencil Okay, these brows I'm not too sure about. This brow pencil, I don't know if it's the color or if it's actually just the formula, but I feel like I'm not getting a lot of product on my brows. This is actually like five go overs for me to try and fill in my brow. And it's not even the fact that I put in the gel first. It's more the fact that this is a really kind of waxy, sheer formula and I'm just not loving it. So I'm gonna do the other brow and then we'll see how I feel. I might have to go in with something else. Yeah, I don't think I like this. For some reason, I just can't seem to get any type of definition that I'm looking for. Like I was kind of going for a soft kind of fluffy brow, but I feel like because it's such a waxy kind of goopy texture, I feel like I'm not sure what is happening with them. So I might go right ahead and actually use the other Tarte brow pencil that I actually really like and switch. So this is the brow pencil I used in my first full face of Tarte Cosmetics and I really enjoy this one. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. As I said, I really enjoy this. The color's quite nice. It's a slightly smaller pencil so I can really get that definition. So let's go right ahead and fill in a little bit more with this.
So you can already see that was one pass over, so much better. But I will give the brow gel another go. So now that I filled in the brows, I'm gonna take the brow gel and go right through the brows again, hopefully to give it a little bit more fullness. So yeah, I'm undecided on how I feel about this brow pencil. I think if anything, I don't know if I love it. I feel like the brow gel maybe isn't as strong of a hold as I would like, especially if I want the option of having that fluffier brow. And the pencil, the color was a little bit warmer than I like, and I feel like it's just the formula was a little bit too waxy for my preferences. So if you do enjoy a waxy, kind of light holding brow pencil, this might be a good option. However, if you like anything else, it might not be for you. Okay, so quickly before I zoom you guys out and we start on the lips, I just want to take the highlight and pop a little bit on my inner corner. To do that, I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the Real Techniques 303 Rebel Edge Fine Brush. So I'm going to take it straight into the highlight, tap off the excess and just highlight my inner corner. I actually really enjoy this brush for the inner corner because you can see it just fits so perfectly into the upper and lower part of that inner V. So next, moving into lips, I want to start off with some lip liner. This is the Tarte Tartus Lip Crayon in the shade Baked. And I'm going to go right ahead and start lining my lips. And I'm going to slightly fill in the edges. And then for lip color, I want to try this one right here. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Skinny Dip. This packaging is so beautiful. Look at that detail. It is gorgeous. So here's what the color looks like. As you can see, it's just a regular lipstick bullet. So I'm going to go right ahead and apply that to the center of the lip. And I'm going to take my finger and blend it out. And then finishing everything off, I'm going to reuse my Tarte Stay Spray Setting Spray. This is actually really nice. I've actually got two of these, so I'm glad I like it. So I'm going to reuse the one that I've already opened. So I'm going to shake up the bottle and I'm going to set my face. So yeah guys, this is the finished makeup look using a full face of Tarte Cosmetics number no. 2. I had so much fun creating this look and you guys, I am so in love with the way that it turned out. Let me know if you guys will end up trying this one out and if you do, please, please, please tag me in your photos. I want to see them. I had the best time today and I really hope you guys enjoyed the finished look. If you did enjoy this video, then you guys know what to do. Please feel free to leave me a like, comment and leave any requests that you have down below in the the comment bar. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and drag it all the way down to all to become a part of this family and be notified of all my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. This shade here doesn't have as... Oh, it does. Never mind. I take that back. A beautiful hor orange. Orange? That's not a word. Screw that one up. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna, I don't know, on the real technique. You guys, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like I can't decide. On the real techniques, 311. Ow. I won't pretend that didn't hurt. On the Real Techniques. So for lashes, the only eyeliner... What? Brow pencil and gel in the shade... No shade. But I'm going to go right ahead and stick on these lashes. Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow... The Real Techniques. The writing is so small. Yeah.